At first what we need to do is to select empty website template and specify its name. And be sure that you have selected Visual C Hash Development Environment. When you start Visual Studio for the first time, you specify the type of development that you do the most. And Visual Studio then optimizes some settings for that type of development. Click OK button. After specifying website name, Visual Studio create necessary file that is need to operate smoothly. At first, here we are going to create database for our application and within database we are going to create table. From list of predefined items, you need to select SQL database server. To create a new table we have to right click on table option on server explorer which is located left side of screen. Here we are creating table for registration and for this we are creating few fields with data type varchar 50. After changing default table name, we have to click update button to create table. We need to click update every time when we altered anything in table.
Next we are going to create a registration form. For this we have to select web form item from list of items by defaults page name appears as default.aspx but we are changing here as display.aspx. This file going to display all information from register table. Click on Design View, and from Toolbox select Grid View Tool and drop this tools in Display.aspx. In same way you need to bring SQL Data Source in Display.aspx. Now next is that. We have to do some configuration settings. For now, we are manually inserting few rows of information in table. Select SQL Data Source and click on Arrow button and then click on Configure Data Source. At first you need to select Database from drop-down from List of drop-down menu and next you need to specify Connection String Name. This Connection String we are going to use in our application. Next is that we have to select Table Name and select Field Name which we want to display in Display.aspx files. Next, is that we have to connect newly created data source with our grid view to display table data in page. We can add format to our database table. There is predefined look and feel for table. You can proceed by selecting any one of them. Now it is time to look output. We can view output of page by selecting view in browser option. And output look very good. Thanks for your time, if you like this video then click on like button and remember to subscribe channel to get updated video.